This video will demonstrate how to set up your SmartBoard 685iX system for optimal image alignment from your Smart UX60 projector. For best results, be sure to follow the installation instructions provided with the product and to use the provided mounting template. This will ensure that the physical relationship between the SmartBoard and the projector is at an optimal distance. Mounting the system different than instructed will make adjustment of the projected image alignment much more difficult or even impossible. To simplify things, you may want to measure and mark the center of the board and align the board with the center line which you used to install the projector's wall mount plate. If you are using an already installed system, you can easily check the distance from the smart board mounting bracket to the projector's wall mount bracket by using a measured piece of cardboard. To simplify things later, now is a good time to use the orange adjustment knob to raise the height of the projector mounting points. When mounting the projector on the wall bracket, or when working around the projector, be very careful not to touch the projector's lens or the mirror. Be sure to install and tighten the three screws which secure the projector adjustment bracket to the wall mount plate. After connecting all cables to the projector and removing the plastic lens and plastic mirror covers, turn it on and allow it to warm up for a few moments. At this point, the image may look very odd. Before starting to adjust the image, ensure that all of the adjustment restrictors are disengaged. If you are adjusting an already installed system, be sure to also fully disengage the projector stabilizer bar at the bottom of the projector. At all times during the image adjustment process, it is important that the smart board not be secured to the wall, because you will need to move the smart board sideways during the adjustment process. It is also important to have a helper apply a small amount of pressure to the bottom of the smart board to keep it pressed against the wall or the image adjustments may be impacted. Sometimes you may need to confirm that the five adjustment assembly screws are not loose. Do not tighten these. Only turn them until they stop if they move at all. While performing image adjustments it is important to understand that every adjustment knob will impact the others. Therefore, after performing course adjustments, you will need to repeat many of the adjustments with finer care. The green knob impacts the pitch, or front to back tilt, of the projector. This impacts the image shape in a specific way known as keystone. In addition, this adjustment may also impact the relative size and height position of the image. This adjustment is best observed by looking at the left and right edge of the image to see if they are parallel with each other, and also by comparing the relative lengths of the top and bottom edges of the image to see if they are equal. The blue knob impacts the roll, or left to right tilt, of the projector. This impacts the tilt of the projected image and is best observed by looking at the top edge of the projected image relative to the physical top edge of the smart board. The purple knob impacts the yaw or angle of the projector, impacting the image shape and horizontal position. It will also slightly impact the tilt of the projected image, 
which is primarily controlled with the blue knob. This adjustment is best observed by comparing the length of the left and right sides of the image to see if they are equal with each other. This adjustment's impact is also observed by looking at the top and bottom edges of the projected image to see if they are parallel with each other. When using the green, blue, and purple adjustment knobs, it is important to remember that you are working on the shape of the image, not the position of the image on the smartboard. We will adjust that later. After using the green, blue, and purple knobs to obtain a relatively squared image, you can now adjust the relative position of the image by using the yellow and orange knobs and by moving the smartboard left or right on the wall. The yellow knob impacts the relative size of the image on the smartboard. This adjustment may also impact the relative shape of the image which is primarily controlled by the green, blue, and purple knobs. This knob also requires many turns to make a small impact on the projected image. The orange knob impacts the relative height of the image on the smartboard. This adjustment is best observed by looking at the top edge of the projected image relative to the physical top edge of the smartboard. This knob may require the use of a wrench or socket driver as it will be very stiff with the weight of the projector on it. You will need to make many turns of this knob to make a small impact to the projected image. You will need to readjust the green, blue, and purple knobs slightly after adjusting the yellow and orange knobs. If you can see light from the projected image on any of the top, bottom, left, or right smart board bezels, the image is too large and you need to adjust it with the yellow knob. It is best to leave a small gap between the edge of the projected image and the physical edge of the smart board. Once the image is squared and sized, you can center the smart board to the image. This can also be done repeatedly during the rest of the image adjustment if desired. When performing the image adjustment process, all adjustment knobs should be smooth and reasonably easy to turn. If this is not the case, if the image jumps or moves suddenly, or if there is a lot of resistance when you try to turn an adjustment knob, stop what you are doing. Then recheck the three adjustment restrictors at the top of the projector and the projector stabilizer bar at the bottom of the projector. Confirm that these adjustment restrictors are not engaged and are not restricting adjustment movement. Also check to see if there are any other obstructions getting in the way of the projector movements. Some obstructions may include cables which are not routed correctly. And remember that while performing image adjustments, every adjustment knob will impact the others. Therefore, after performing course adjustments, you will need to repeat many of the adjustments with finer care. During image adjustment, you may want to occasionally realign the board to the image as you progress with the image adjustments instead of waiting until the very end of the process. Once the image is aligned, engage the adjustment restrictors and the projector stabilizer bar, and then secure the smartboard to the wall. Remember to focus the projector when you are almost finished with the image adjustment procedure before you secure it in place. When adjusting the focus of the image, be sure to look at all areas of the image. Top, bottom, left, right, and in all four corners to find a focus balance throughout the entire image. 